is the reason why you rush us over here to eat it, for you to eat glizzies. Another beautiful day we have the tour custom cycle shop. And we're also here with the righteous rebels. Black squad. Nice ducks, baby. Oh, I'm getting on the uh, sports rest. Pino's gonna get on the uh, on the nice there. I like the fact that this bike does have a lot of options, even on this little bike right here. I'm a short fire that you got it at. Wow, look at that. We get up close and personal over here. Goddamn it! Five times, five times. Good morning guys, another beautiful day we're here at the Tour Custom Cycle Shop. We're about to head over to Bergen County for their demo truck day, so we're gonna be trying some bikes out, seeing what's going on over there. They got a food truck, um, and it should be a really good time. Right. And then we're also here with the Righteous Rebels. Did you get your duck? Quack Scott, Quack Squad. The mighty Ducks, baby. <laughs> Joe Sunday said he can't loosen his front end. <laughs> you want to talk to him? I know he can. Yo, what are you doing? Uh, you're... No, we don't. Are you starting to film a uh, we didn't, movie Mike now? Didn't put yes, it back. sir. I think we only... How much horsepower did you get out of that? Wow, look at that. Uh, we get up close and personal over here. They, they, those things get... Why is he attempting this? Why do you got to sit that way? Why would he think it's goddamn? Because <laughs> he's old. No, get the weird angle where it's just like... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to do Mike's favorite angle. You guys are always spinning <laughs> Dudes are like, so Mike, what are you putting on the plate tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Stuffy, you better get on the other side. Stuffy legs like, down. Like, full. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Jerry's Mike, coming at you, bro. Mikey's, Mikey's gonna block him. Mikey's got him. Pina, you're gonna let Jerry come at you like that all day? That's like the third one. Listen, Mr. Five Times, give me five times. Crash champion. Tiny burger. All right, guys, so we're all saddled up. We got Jerry, the coolest white guy I know on the low rider ass. Duff on the blue glide 3030 cam, Hobbs in the back. We got Peanuts in the front. We got Mikey in the front on the uh, gray ST models. And we got me out here. All right, so we're gonna head over to Bergen right now. See what's going on at this demo truck day event that they have. I know Jerry wants to get on a few bikes. Uh, Pino wants to ride the uh, the Sportster S. Jerry wants to ride the Sportster S plus the Rogue Glide 3. The only thing I want to ride again is the Sportster S. Um, or Peters wants to ride the nicer as well. Everybody wants to ride the nicer too. They want to try it out. Um, so we're going to have some uh, Sportster content feedback in this video as well. So tune in for that. And then um, we're hungry too. So we're going to see what they have to eat there. But it's a beautiful day out here in dirty Jersey. High of 80-ish degrees right now. Blue skies, clear skies. Yeah. Grayish skies.
Bergen County Harley Davidson. What are you doing? I gotta watch a video for the trike. Why? Oh, 14 minute video. Sergio! I got good memory. Email? This is the reason why you rushed us over here for, eat, for you to eat glizzies? <laughs> I wouldn't get any other seat. Yeah, because I was selling out. I was trying to get this or the Saturday shit. Nah. You want a full, full touring seat? Like, if you're gonna go out deep. Yeah, it's up. <laughs> What do you think about the Rogue Light 3? Worst thing ever I have ever ridden. Really? Yeah. Why? It's like the front wheel feels How like it's going to fall though, off. Like, <laughs> you put the race in racism. I came around a corner <laughs> and it's like, nah. It tipped over on you? No, it's it's it's, it's weird. It's very, it's very weird. I don't like it at all. I think if it was between that and not riding, I wouldn't ride. Really? really? Yeah, wow. that's how bad it was. Shit. I mean, I rode a K&M and I, and I didn't think it was as, as bad or whatever. And what is it, the turning? Damn, right so J yeah. Jerry, Jerry, what, the what turn. is that? That's my alarm. It's uh, some of those hot dogs you're eating, man. Yeah, it's the hot dogs. What are you, uploading your <laughs> DNA? <laughs> no, it sucks. I don't like I don't like it at all. Nah. Not at all. As soon as you got rides. angry, your fucking shit started beeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how that's happened. <laughs> when I want to kick your ass, it's going to go beep, 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 beep. That means, that means to run. That yeah, that's not run. diabetes. Ooh. That's blood pressure. <laughs> that's <why. laughs> No, it's horrible. I, I, want, I actually wanted to turn around before we got to the light over here. Really? Yeah. I swear to God. And I said, let me just tough it out. And then as we're riding, we got stuck in traffic. My fucking ass is on fire. Why? Because that fucking thing heats up like crazy. No, you, you, left, you left the cream in my bag if you need it. The, what, the cooling gel? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was cooling gel. I left the stu stubby, uh, <laughs> stubby little feet gel. All right, guys, so... Gonna get on this demo ride right now. I'm getting on the uh, sports rest. Pino's gonna get on the uh, on the nice there. Good thing about this sports rest here is that um, comes with mids. So originally it comes with forwards. They went ahead and they changed it out to mids. First time I was on this bike, uh, it was with the forward controls, and that's the thing I don't like about it too much because the reach with the bars in the front, and then with the um, forwards just didn't feel right. Now this feels more more to my uh liking turn it on nice little gauge this, this is a nice tachometer right here nice and clean and it's on sport mode already uh let's just put it rain mode road mode and sport mode we'll put it on regular first beautiful color too man this is a really really nice color i love this color for 2023 That's a brand new uh, Nyster S right there. Um, they changed the wheels on that bike. Uh, they added a fairing in the front. 
Uh, and the pillion seat in the back. It was pretty cool, man. Both Revolution uh, Max engines on both bikes. That one has the 975. This is the 1250 I'm here. And this this bike, uh, this bike is so beautiful. Even before this bike came out, I first saw the designs. I fell in love with it. It's just so beautifully done. It's, it's a gorgeous bike. Now, I need to be honest, and you guys know that from the um, from the beginning, I didn't like it that much just because of the uh, the, the riding ergonomics of it with the uh, forwards. But now with the mids, let's try it out. Hopefully, I have a different uh, opinion on it. Now, as far as the seat comfort-wise, it's not the most comfortable seat. I'll tell you that right now. And then the exhaust right here kind of goes up really high. So if I put my leg down, it touches the back of my leg. But it has a heat shield, obviously, so it's not like I'm going to be burning myself. But it's just something to think about, something to know. It's hot, right? So this bike in vivid black is $16,399. And then with this color option, it's going to be $16,849. So not much of a difference. Yeah, the mids feel a lot better, man. A lot, a lot better. But I can see why they went with the forwards, because, I mean... A taller guy on this, I mean, I'm more on the shorter end, but a taller guy on this, his knees would be like all the way up here. Yeah, and even me, man, I'm, I'm really short and my legs are right here hugging the tank and I feel like I'm really, really on top of the bike. As far as the, uh, the bike feeling heavy, it feels super light, man. It doesn't feel heavy whatsoever. I mean, it's a light bike, it's uh, 500 pounds and it's so, so nimble. You would think that with that thicker tire in the front and thicker tire in the back, you wouldn't be able to handle it as good, but the bike does handle really good. And it's so nimble, so flickable. You could just, you know, flip it from side to side and it's really comfortable when it comes to that. Yeah, rain mode, I didn't like whatsoever. Obviously, rain mode is really tamed down because it's for the rain. So I'm assuming for the rain time, you know, it's, it's perfect for that. Um, but not for like regular riding, it's just too tamed down. This is, this is, this feels good right here. Regular mode. I really like this gauge cluster right here. So clear to see. And everything's like right in your face. I think they did a really good job with that. Now, as far as the controls, and everything over here, like I'm, I'm not a huge fan of it because everything is like in all plastic. I, I don't like that. It's not what you think about when you think about Harley. Bunch of plastic materials. If they were to change that, make these, uh, make it a little bit more premium to the feel. I, I'd like that a bit more. But as far as controls, you're gonna have your mode button right here on the right. Your on and off switch right here. Um, your dual indicators and right here you have options if you want to connect your Bluetooth have access to your music um, and the left side we're gonna have your high beam low beam um, you're gonna have cruise control right here which is pretty cool it does come with heater grips so you have your modes of heater grips right there the toggle button right there as well um, turn signals here on the left your horn button right there on the bottom left as well a lot of stuff, a lot of buttons. Yeah? I, it feels like so small, dude. Even me, I'm sure, but it feels tiny. These demo days are, are great. Especially for you guys who are in the market right now and you don't know what you want. Um, this is a great way to just come and hop on a few different bikes and see the feeling for what, what it is. All right, we're gonna switch this over to sport mode now. Yeah, that's a, you get a, an instant different feel right there. Seriously, switch it on sport. I like the fact that this bike does have a lot of options, even on this little bike right here. You're gonna have rain modes. You're gonna have cruise control. Um, the heater grips is an awesome, awesome option. Now, as far as uh, fuel tank goes, you're gonna have a 3.1 gallon gas tank on this bike so set the bike to go long distance 
No, can you? Yes. But this type of bike you get to really have a lot of fun with, man. It's a really fun bike. And it's packing a lot of power. <laughs> I wish we had the option to kind of really open her up, which I can't right now. This is the second time I've ever been on this bike. The first time was on a demo ride here at Bergen uh, about a year ago. And this is the second time I've been on this bike. So I haven't really had the time to really spend a lot of time on this bike and really test her out and, you know, really get the juice out of her. I would love to. It's a really fun bike, man. Feels great, turning her over, going in corners. It's definitely a bike that I feel like Harley Davidson designed to bring in new faces to the company a younger demographic um that, that that's what i think this bike is more intended to but with that being said i have seen a lot of the people who own this bike that i have met personally are people who have been riding for years who have been buying harley davidson's for years and they're they're being very receptive of of what Harley is doing with, with, with this right here, with the Sports S. Which at times is really hard to do because some of these guys are, the average Harley rider is really hard headed. They don't like change and they kind of run away from it. They, they, they want the old same thing over and over and over. And it's like, you know, well, this, this new platform here is, I, I feel like it's kind of opening the horizons and opening the minds of those older classic riders those hardcore Harley Davidson riders at that I like this bike a lot man final thoughts on the bike on this little demo ride I like the way she handles I like the fact that this one here has the mid control so I feel a lot more comfortable so th that is an option because like I said it does come with four controls but you do have an option to switch everything out to mids like this one is set up um gauge cluster is really easy to see everything is real user friendly as well and it's a fun bike a lot of options modes heater grips it's fast it's light so if you're looking for something like that this is the bike you want man throw a leg over her pass by one of your harley dealerships and let's see what you think for yourself you like it I prefer my Milwaukee over this. Here he comes, here he comes. Angry Jerry, ready to sit on his bike. Do not call him my bike. This is my bike and I said it's mine. Which are you riding? Oh, you got it recording now? Yeah, why? Because I want to talk numbers. Oh, what's the numbers? <laughs> what? Are you here for the demo ride? I'm here to meet Marvel Kid. I heard there was a meet and greet for him and Jerry. <laughs> 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 